As of this morning, there have been 571 cases confirmed by the Chinese government, and 17 people are reported to have died of this new strain of respiratory illness. At the conference today, they gave the virus a name, COVID-19, coronavirus disease. This is the worst public health crisis for a generation. At least 59 people are believed to have been sickened by the new virus. Tonight, U.S. airports on high alert, screening passengers for symptoms of a deadly new virus. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. States soon start closing schools and announcing stay-at-home orders. Stay at home. Stay home, stay safe. In May, we finally get a glimpse of good news. Pfizer announces they're working on a vaccine. The FDA has now granted full approval of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, making it the first COVID vaccine to transition from emergency authorization status to full FDA approval. CVS and Rite Aid pharmacies announced they will also administer the Pfizer vaccine to children ages 12 to 15 at all of its locations including so we waiting in line now to get the Pfizer vaccine I know a lot of people are undecided on whether or not they want to get the vaccine uh, me personally I decided to get it because you know this Delta variant um, seems to be much more contagious than the original strain. I personally, I have not had COVID yet that I know of. Uh, I have still been moving around, living life as normal from day one to, I feel like better safe than sorry. Um, three, I like to do a lot of traveling, so it will help me to be able to go to different countries that currently only allow vaccinated, uh, passion, vaccinated people from the States to come to. Here comes the fun. Yep, so I need to go in your upper arm. Can you pull your... All oh, right. Yep. <laughs> Y'all gonna give me something to call in for work? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Feel a little pinch and this thing. One, two, three. Well done. That wasn't bad. So hang out about five minutes. Make sure you don't have any kind of allergic reaction, okay? Okay. So my mom has the vaccine. My brother has the vaccine. Um, <clears throat> a couple friends, so definitely not the first of people I know, but most people I know do not want the vaccine at all because it's not FDA approved. So they feel like, you know, they made this vaccine overnight and they're just dishing it out. And, you know, we really don't know what the long-term effects may be. Me and my fiance are getting it today. We're getting the first shot of the Pfizer vaccine. She's pretty scared. She's been crying all morning. You want me to hold your hand? So quick. What it's is okay, like baby. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. So, but I know, I know it's really it's scary. Quick. It's really scary. It's hard. You're gonna be okay. Remember how you used to Puppies. shoot up here? <laughs> 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 Don't move, baby. Okay. All right. Hold my hand tight. Mm -hmm. All done. Mm -hmm. No, it does not I got my superpowers already. Feeling like Superwoman. That thing was crying. Well, they say that you don't really have any symptoms until you get the second shot. So we'll see in a couple of weeks how we feel and uh, we'll go from there. But we're going to be documenting every step of the way. Yep. All right. So we're here at the CVS on Bolton Road about to get the second shot for the Pfizer vaccine. Super excited. Hey, I'm just I'm ready to be fully vaccinated. This COVID has changed so much in the world. For me, my life can't stop. I got to be out hustling, working moving around and for me that requires me to be in front of people so in large groups of people at times so can't let anything stop the money so but want to make sure that you protect it so taking y'all on a ride with me and I'm about to show you guys what happens if you get vaccinated oh wow really man see that's what it's all about that's what it's all about man thanks for calling and sharing that with me I really appreciate that so happy for you so happy for you <laughs> yo just got off of the phone with one of my mentees not sure if you guys are aware of my road to millions mentorship program man but that was just one of my mentees we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions 
so we can help you scale your individual business and actually uh, give you some advice when it comes to your personal business and some of the goals that you have for yourself. It's a four week in-depth mentorship program that doesn't stop after those four weeks. But if this sounds like some things that you need help with, then make sure you click that link in my bio and go ahead and sign up for my mentorship program today. I'm actually announcing a big announcement. I'm leaving it 50% off for the rest of the year because I want to help as many people as possible move into 2022 the right way. So go ahead and sign up for my mentorship program right now. It was fine. My arm first. was a little sore the next day, but other than that, I didn't really have um, many symptoms. Good. Okay. I heard the second one is where you majority get the majority of the symptoms from. Yeah, just because your body recognizes the vaccine, so you're, um, if you have symptoms, it would be like mild symptoms. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And your time is 110, so about 15 minutes, but you just want to stick around here. All right. I never really tested positive for COVID, so I'm not sure if I actually had it. Um, but just want to make sure that I'm protected, you know. Uh, this is the first vaccine that I've ever gotten as an adult uh, that I've ever chose to get. My mom is always going to get like flu vaccinations and things like that. I've never gotten it because I said, well, hey, I've never had the flu, you know. And a lot of people say in order for them to give you a vaccination, they have to inject you with this disease, a little bit of it, um, so that your body can kind of build up some immunity uh, towards it. So uh, anyways, y'all keep watching my Instagram. I'm not gonna <laughs> go anywhere, nothing's gonna happen to me. Um, and I think it's about time that a lot more people should consider getting vaccinated. I think that um, we can move towards putting a lot of this COVID area behind us the more and more people that get vaccinated, so.